Okay, with this question, um, it's taken from Krugman Wells Microeconomics, second edition, chapter 10, which is the rational uh, consumer question, um, chapter uh, question three. So uh, we're going to be just kind of, you know, churning out margin utility calculations and then finding an optimal bundle for this person. Uh, so it, says, it reads, Brenda likes to have a bagel and coffee for breakfast in the morning. The accompanying table shows Brenda's total utility from various combinations, uh, various bundles, of bagels and coffee. So you have consumption bundle, quantity of bagels, quantity of coffee, and then total utility from that. So uh, with zero bagels and zero coffee, um, Brenda gets zero total utilities. If Brenda had four bagels and two coffees, then she'd get 66 utils of utility. Uh, and then at a more reasonable thing here, let's see, one bagel plus two coffees gives uh, 48 utils to Brenda. Okay, so suppose Brenda knows that she will consume two cups of coffee for certain. However, she can choose uh, different quantities of bagels. She can choose either zero, one, two, three, or four bagels. Um, part A, calculate Brenda's margin utility from bagels as she goes from consuming uh, zero bagels to one bagel, and from one bagel to two bagels, from two bagels to three bagels, and then from uh, three to four bagels. Uh, give me one second, and I'll do all that for you right now. Okay, so that's what I've done. Uh, we're taking the, um, it says to take uh, fixed uh, the number of coffees. So we know where she's going to stick with two coffees. Um, so what I'm just going through here is any of these that don't have a coffee, you know, we just delete it. And now we're going to find the margin of utility um, going from zero to one bagels from one to two bagels, from two to three bagels, and from three to four bagels. So that's what I've done down here. Uh, so given two cups of coffee is fixed, the marginal utility going from zero bagels to one is the difference between this 48 and 28. So 48 utils is the amount of utility Brenda gets from consuming one bagel and two cups of coffee. And 28 is the total utility Brenda gets from consuming two cups of coffee and zero bagels. So the margin utility of going from the uh, zeroth to first bagel, you know, given two cups of coffee, is this 20. Uh, the margin utility of going from the first bagel to the second bagel, uh, assuming, you know, two cups of coffee, is eight. So it's a difference from 56 utils from two bagels and two coffee, uh, and 48, the total utility from two cups of coffee and one bagel. Uh, you continue through this calculation, margin utility from two bagels to three bagels, given everything else, is six, and then the margin utility uh, from three bagels to four bagels, given everything else, uh, is margin utility of four. So now in part B, so that was part A, just that uh, margin utility column there I added. Part B asks, draw Brenda's marginal utility curve of bagels. Does Brenda have increasing, diminishing, or constant margin utility of bagels? Well, first off, uh, let's answer the second part first. Um, does Brenda have increasing, diminishing, or constant marginal utility of bagels? So with that, let's have a look at the marginal utility. So in the marginal utility column here, you can see from the zeroth to first, it's 20. From the first to second bagel, it's eight. From the second to third bagel, it's six. And from the third to fourth bagel, the marginal utility is four. So you can see the marginal utility is definitely decreasing. And then even more clearly, you know, uh, so drawing the marginal utility curve for bagels. Uh, remember this graph here uh, is holding the number of cups of coffee constant. Um, going from the zeroth to the first bagel, the margin utility is 20. From the first to second bagel, the margin utility is eight. The second to third bagel, it's six. And then the third to fourth, the margin utility is four. So clearly the margin utility is decreasing as the quantity of bagels increases. Uh, that's it. I guess it's a pretty straightforward question. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.